G'day, my name is Tom. I'm the world's first most expert on wilderness survival. Quarky! But now I'm going to be showing you how to survive the most deadliest jungle of all, the college campus. It's going to take all of my skills and training to make it through this next challenge on this episode of The Campus Hunter. Good day, mates. Today we're going to be looking at a very particular building that you all should be very familiar with. Keplinger Hall, or Kep, as the natives like to call it. Now, I'm going to be showing you survival tips if you ever have the unfortunate pleasure of taking a class in this building. Now, today we're going to be looking at a very elusive creature called the Keprat. Now, the characteristics, if you ever see a Keprat, is it can stay awake for days. It has a glazed look over its eye from doing too much homework. It's got a lack of basic hygiene, and it eats its entire diet of free pizza. Now let's get going and see if we can find one. I think, I think, I think we have some cap rats here. You can just smell by the aroma in this room that these people are definitely cap rats. Now, you can also tell by the look in their eyes that they are very tired because they haven't slept in days and the caffeine is starting to wear off from yesterday. Let's see if we can get closer and touch one. I've just been bitten by a cat rat. This is very serious. If I don't get medical attention soon, I'm going to be talking in binary and seeing differential equations before my eyes. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Now, this is an example of an object in free fall. When there's no air resistance, the body is going to drop at 9.81 meters per second squared. That means every second is going 9.81 meters per second faster. So when he hit the ground, it's probably something like on the order of 15 meters per second. 